Hi there, welcome to another customer story. Today I'll be covering Damien Motorcycles and how they've leveraged 3D scanning, SOLIDWORKS, and additive manufacturing into their development of their bikes. If you like this video, check out the full story. I'll put the link in the description, so follow that link and you can explore more solutions we found with different customers as well. So, Damon Motorcycles' main purpose is to cause a shift in the industry. Motorcycles are often seen as unsafe, intimidating, and hard to ride. How are they planning on accomplishing this? Well, they create electric motorcycles embedded with high performance specs with advanced safety features. Their motorcycles are special because they have autonomous vehicle technologies and electronically adjustable ergonomics to go along with their impressive performance. Damien has patented a 360 degree AI enhanced warning system for motorcycles called Copilot. And they also designed and built the world's first shape-shifting electric motorcycle. The safety system locks onto dozens of objects around the motorcycle and alerts the rider to oncoming threats using LEDs and vibration in the handlebars. The embedded crash detection sensors also collect rider, traffic, and vehicle data that send that information to the cloud. This means that Damon's system learns from every rider in every situation. With such a complex machine, they are bound to be met with a multitude of design challenges to overcome. They used a combination of laser scanning, SOLIDWORKS, and 3D printing to create the unique and tricky components that will allow the bike to transform. Product design manager Raymond Lung said, A bike like the Halo had never been built before, and it was challenging work. We had to build a safe, rideable prototype that would not only have a pleasing appearance, but also features that transform. Parts need to morph safely and smoothly without interference. Raymond arranged for the basic features of a motorcycle to be laser scanned, then imported the scanned data into SOLIDWORKS. Reverse engineering gave him the base for creating the necessary appearance, as well as for designing mechanical parts, since a bike like the Halo had never been built before. Their engineering team trusts SOLIDWORKS to handle large assemblies and also allow multiple designers to work on the same file in parallel. Advice on working with large assemblies is actually one of the ways Raymond has received help from Javelin Technologies. He has been using SOLIDWORKS for many years, but occasionally relies on Javelin's depth of expertise. Javelin gets back to me immediately with advice about how to solve any problem I run into. It's convenient for me to visit them in person, downtown Vancouver, or show them a problem and get timely help. They also have expertise in working with scanned data and 3D printing, so they bring a lot to our conversations. Next up, Raymond will be investigating SOLIDWORKS simulation to enhance his ability to virtually test part performance, as well as solutions to improve data storage and supply chain management. Damon will also use SOLIDWORKS to design the next generation of ergonomic systems, for one that conforms to the unique characteristics of an individual rider for maximum customization and comfort. We look forward to continuing to help Damon Motorcycles with their engineering solutions and seeing what is in the pipeline for them. If you'd like to learn more about Damon Motorcycles, visit their website. Also, once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.